Hello everyone, my name is Naveen Macro and today we have the ProAIM Advanced Motion Control System. This is a motorized camera slider which lets you create dynamic video or photo sequences with the help of a precision controlled motor. This system can handle cameras up to 5 kgs or 11 pounds and this whole system barely weighs 1.6 kgs or 3.5 pounds. This advanced motion control system can be used with any of the ProAIM camera sliders and today we'll be using it with the ProAIM Curve and Line camera slider. Now let's see how this controller works. First we have the power button. We'll put it on battery when you're using the controller with the battery. And we'll put it on power when we are, when we are using the controller with that power. And the second knob that we have is the mode knob, which we can use to select between three different modes. Third important dial that we have here is the speed slash direction knob. As the name suggests, we will use it to select between different speed and the direction of the movement like left or right. Then last we have these two interval knobs that we will be using to change different settings. This controller has three different modes, video mode, interval mode and loop mode. Let's look at the video mode. For that we'll put the mode dial on video. The video mode basically lets you create custom slides in either left or right direction. And then the only knob that we need is the speed slash direction knob. When it's in the center like this, the speed will be zero. And we can choose speed from zero to 10 in left for the left direction. And again, it will be zero in the center and zero to 10 speed in the right direction. And this way you can simply make left to right movement on the slider at your desired speed from zero to 10. So video mode is as simple as that. You can move your camera towards left or right depending upon your needs with just one knob and that's pretty much it. Now let's come to the loop mode. Again in the loop mode also, you can control the speed from zero to 10 using the speed dial on the controller. First we'll put the mode dial on loop and again for the loop mode also, you really only need to change speed settings. So again from zero to 10, you'll set your speed say let's do it five then the slider will start looping from end to end on the slider until unless you stop it loop mode basically allows you to automatically move the camera back and forth for as long as you want and you can use it to create dynamic video shots for say interviews or you can shoot time lapses and just leave the camera on and forget about it now let's come to the interval mode which is for me personally is the most interesting one for interval mode you have to set three settings on the controller First is length, total length of the shot from starting point to the end point. Then we have the pause or the interval between each shot. Then we have the distance. It's the distance that the camera will travel between each shot. We have three major options, 600 mm, 900 mm and 1200 mm. So here we can choose 600 left or right, 900 left or right or 1200 left or right. So say let's select 600 right. Then we have the pause or the interval between each shot that you can keep anywhere between one second to 999 seconds. So let's keep it one second here. And with the second interval knob, you can choose the distance between each shot. And that can be anywhere between one mm to 300 mm. So again, if we choose it one mm here, you will see that the final shots that we will get is 601 and once the camera start moving you will see the counter of the final shots so we are taking one shot every second here and that's pretty much it for the interval mode it's pretty simple and straightforward interval mode is majorly used to shoot time-lapse footage with dynamic camera movements and that can only be achieved through a system like this so that's it for this video. Do leave your feedback in the comments. Happy shooting.